Following on from our previous S24 Ultra video, where I talked about a hands-on leak as well as some major AI upgrades, I've got some even more leaks to talk about in this video. These are some smaller ones than before, but together they all paint an almost complete picture of what the S24 Ultra will be. And the first is when it comes to the RAM. Ice Universe claims that just like the S23 Ultra, the S24 Ultra will come in two variants, an 8GB variant and a 12GB variant. Now, with the S23 Ultra, the base 256GB model came with 8GB of RAM, but all the other higher tier versions came with 12, the only exception being some of the Asian versions which did actually feature 12GB of RAM on the base 256 model too. Personally, I cannot say that I've had any issues with my 8GB of RAM S23 Ultra. The RAM management has been great and apps have stayed open in the background for sometimes even more than a day. This could have also been thanks to Samsung's RAM Plus feature that uses the storage as extra RAM, which I have enabled and set to the highest 8GB setting. Still, when you consider that phones like the Pixel 8 Pro that costs less, comes with 12GB of RAM by default, it does make me feel a bit disappointed that Samsung is once again sticking with 8GB of RAM on the base model. Like even the OnePlus 12, which won't technically be OnePlus's highest end phone, even that comes with 12 gigs of RAM on the base model, with 16 gigs on the 512 and a whopping 24 gigs of RAM on the one terabyte version. Obviously, that is a complete overkill for a phone. But with Samsung, on the other hand, I feel like they're maybe trying to take advantage of the position in the market that they have, similar to Apple in a way, and give their users less since they know that their products will sell regardless. Now, the colors of the S24 Ultra have also been leaked. Previously, we only knew about them from Russ Young, but now Windows Report posted a number of CAD-based renders with the actual colors, which according to them will be titanium black, titanium gray, titanium violet, and titanium yellow. Of course, all of them having the new titanium frame, while the S24 and the S24 Plus would have the current armor aluminium frame. And according to a brand new report from the Alloc, Samsung might actually keep the 10x zoom module after all. This was reportedly said to be replaced by a 5x module. Ice Universe still believe that this is the case. However, uh, the Alex sees the 3x module as the one being replaced by the new 5x. So we'll have to wait and see what Samsung ends up doing here. I should say that Ice Universe has been historically more accurate than the Alex, so personally, I would trust Ice Universe more here. Oh, hold on a second. What's this? Tim Cook has sent me an email with an invite to the Apple Park. That's just awesome. Let me just download this attachment. Oh, what's this? Hacker right now has access to all of my data and she's saying that if I don't pay her, she'll delete everything. Oh man, ransomware is really one of the worst threats that you could face, which can be easily disguised through phishing emails, malicious links, social engineering, or suspicious downloads. I would hate for HackerRan to steal my channel, that's why I use NordVPN with their active threat protection to filter and scan my files and websites that I visit to make sure that my data is safe from any kinds of attacks. Use NordVPN to stay protected and get four months for free and a massive discount by using the link below. And now, back to the video. Now, Ice Universe also shared an image of the alleged Periscope lens on the S24 Ultra, which does look quite different. Rather than the usual rectangular lens shape that we've seen on Periscope Zoom modules before, the S24 Ultra seems to have a circular shaped lens with what Ice claims to be a square reflector on it, similar to the Vivo X100 Pro. Now, if we take a look at what zoom range the Vivo X100 Pro has, it is only a 4.3x module. So at this point, I do think that Samsung is unlikely to keep the current 10x zoom module. I would love to believe the Alex report here, but looking at the leaks, it seems like Samsung is unfortunately changing it to what does indeed seem to be about a 5x module. On the bright side, however, because of this change, the S24 Ultra will apparently be able to switch between all three lenses while recording 4K video something that currently it simply cannot do. And this has actually been one of my main few downsides with the S23 Ultra. I loved how on my Pixel 7 Pro, I could use all of my lenses when recording 4K60 video and switch between them, 
I really miss that when I switched to the S23 Ultra a few months later. So I'm glad to finally see it come to Samsung phones too, now that even Apple has added it with the iPhone 15 Pros. Aside from this, we also have some brand new leaked hands-on images coming from Ice Universe, both showing us different frame options for the S24 Ultra. The first is very similar to the S23 Ultra, only with a flatter side, whereas the second is a bit more rounded and also wider. Ice claims that Samsung will actually go with the wider frame approach, which is quite interesting, as it goes against the body leaks that we've seen before, which were showing the frame as flatter. On the right side, however, a new leaked photo of the bezels does actually show the chin to be thinner than on the S23 Ultra whereas in some of the original leaks, the bezels were appearing to be quite thick. So I'm quite happy to see that this isn't the case here. Which brings us to the next leak, which is the battery. And this is coming from an older leak from September, actually. It's just that I didn't get to cover it in any of our previous videos. Essentially, the S24 is getting a minor battery bump to 4,000 mAh from 3300. The S24 Plus gets a more substantial bump to 4900 from 4700, while the S24 Ultra seems to stick to the same 5000 mAh capacity that we've had ever since the original S20 Ultra from back in 2020. Which I do find quite strange, as other manufacturers do offer larger batteries for lower prices as well. Still, the battery life on my S23 Ultra has been great. I was easily able to get a full day of use, so I didn't really have any issues with that 5000 mAh battery myself. And we also have a couple of more Samsung AI updates. So in the last video, I talked about how Samsung has trademarked the phrase AI phone and how AI will play a big role on the S24 Ultra, thanks to the numerous AI features and improvements of the Snapdragon Agent 3 chip. And now, Leaker TechReve claims that Samsung will create a specific product name to encompass all the AI features that the S24 lineup will have. I do hope that Samsung doesn't end up doing something uh, similar to what LG did. If you guys remember the ThinkQ name, which they just trapped at the end of all of their smartphone names. So yeah, I do hope that Samsung doesn't do that. Speaking of AI features, Leaker Terran Vots showed us what appears to be an upcoming AI wallpaper service in One UI 6.1. This could mimic Google's approach where on the Pixel 8, you can create AI wallpapers directly from the home screen's customization page. Of course, they won't be very high res and they won't be able to match the quality of our own wallpapers, which are created by our designers and they are all in full 8K. Now, if you want to get this wallpaper that we've been using in our S24 Ultra concept, you can find it in our app Wallpapers. As part of the Majestic Melt pack, from October. And with version 1.1, you can now download the full resolution 8K version of our wallpapers and then have them on your other devices like your tablet, your desktop, and so on. You can find wallpapers on the Play Store and the App Store today. And now, back to the video. Also in this Ice Universe leak, we get to see that Samsung is not planning on upgrading the charging speeds at all. These are still set to be 25 watts on the S24 and 45 watts on the Plus and the Ultra, speeds that have remained unchanged since the S22s. And here's the thing, even though the S23 Ultra does charge fairly quickly, up to about 72% in just 30 minutes, other phones do charge significantly faster. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra can charge to almost 100% in just 30 minutes, while the OnePlus 12 supports 100 watts of fast charging that can fully charge it in just 26 minutes. So yeah, Samsung is good, but others are better here. Where Samsung is doing quite well is when it comes to benchmarks. Early benchmarks of the S24 Ultra have leaked in November, and the numbers are looking very promising with a multi-core performance that almost matches that of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, with only 200 points behind it in Geekbench 6. And keep in mind that these are just early scores, there's a good chance that the final scores could be even higher thanks to future optimizations. The S24 Ultra is of course only one month away, so I would definitely love to hear your thoughts of it, especially if you're thinking of potentially upgrading from the S23 Ultra or not. Personally, I'm a bit skeptical when it comes to the upgrades. Like for me, the camera is what I care about the most and it's not really looking like we are getting any major changes to the main module, while the zoom module may or may not be downgraded. Still, I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm Daniel, this is Zenoftech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenoftech, signing out. Cheers.